discs in here. You mind if I look through them? I'll put them back. No, don't worry about it. You. What's up, everybody? It's your main man, MC Murr, here coming at you with a brand new episode of Flea Market Flippin'. Before we get started, I'm glad you're here. I hope you're going to go ahead and drop a like on this video. Go ahead and drop a like if you haven't already done so. I hope you're going to subscribe to the MC Murr Show and be a part of our nation because we're rising up all the fantastic things we do right here on the show you need to be a part of. Last week's episode showed you the start of what was a big day, a long hunt. And the very next table that I went to was absolutely covered in stuff. It really looked to be the most promising table of the day. And just at a glance, I knew I had to get some kind of bundle going on what I was seeing here. How much you getting on the games, man? Five dollars. Five? Okay, so the bad news is these things are individually priced, but the good news is we're not starting off high, right? $5 for Resident Evil Veronica X, that's not that bad. There's a few 360 games sitting here propped up like he must think there's something. I don't know. I really got to feel everything out here on this table. Out of the corner of my eye, I'm already seeing some Wii Sports sleeves. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. It's 70 how much one this one? Uh, $3. NCAA March Madness 08 is a fantastic game all around. Looks great, plays great, and college hoops games, some of them are very pricey. He's only at $3 on this one, and this is a game I've wanted to get back into my collection. I'm definitely going to grab this. And how about on this one? Okay, we're working. Wii Sports Resort is free. <laughs> From $5 to $3 to free. Yeah, this is going pretty well. We may be getting this whole table. I'll go ahead and grab the Wii Sports beneath it, knowing we're going to make a great big bundle here. But, you know, we are just getting started. How much on this one? $10. Ten dollars on a PS3 controller in this condition, especially that cool digital camo, that's not bad. They sell for about three times that. Definitely going in the maybe pile. I think we can bundle it in. How much you have to have for these little guys? $5. Five dollars. How much do you have to have on this one? $5. Five. Five dollars on a Left 4 Dead Game of the Year edition. That's really not bad either. I mean, it'd be better if it was two, but even the first one still sells. People love Left 4 Dead. Would you do eight for the stack? Eight. Ten. Ten with that? Deal. Okay. So now he's bundling for me. That, that may be a first, and uh, we'll take it. I'm getting the bulk of what I was after here so far for only $10, but there's more, right? There's retro cartridges here. We ain't done. How much you getting on this? Four. $8. $8? Four. $4 a piece isn't awful on, you know, NES cartridges, that's for sure, but these aren't rare or anything. There is one that I think I'm missing in my collection though. And there's a copy of Knockout Kings 2000 here for the N64. Such a great series. I'm a huge fan of Knockout Kings and then on into the Fight Night series. Just great games. I mean, if we can bundle all these together, I mean, I feel us building another stack here. I think I've got that one. I know I've got that one. Only $3. $3, $2. That's not bad. 
this, 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 this. Fifteen dollars. Yeah. Fifteen. Two. One. Fifteen dollars. Okay. It's good, no good. I'm thinking about it because I said I, I've got this one already. Mm, Ten dollar. Ten dollars for these. And this. And three. Yeah, I'll do that. He did it again, bundling them up. He even bundled in the two 3DS cartridges that he had there, a Donkey Kong Country and the uh, Angry Birds. All of it together for 10 bucks. I mean, that's a great pile, that's a great deal. We're definitely gonna do well on these. Come back here. Hey, this is all 20. 20? How about 17, would you do 17? Eighteen. Okay. We're getting the PS3 controller too. I mean, I'm loving the negotiation going on here and it's not hardball either. He's just ready to get rid of this stuff. And because we're buying in bulk, we're getting it for better rates. 18 bucks for a big old bag of gaming bliss and happiness. This is how it's done. So he was high on most of the hardware, but he was really willing to deal on the software, and that's what you gotta look at, right? When you see a table where everything looks somewhat valuable, you have to figure out what the seller may not be valuing, and just kind of feel that out, right? And that's the kind of stuff you wanna make a play on. Classic cherry picking, gotta love it. So Resident Evil Code Veronica X, this was one I just couldn't get into. You know, the older Resident Evils with the PS1 style controls just didn't have good enough gameplay to make me bear with them. And while all Resident Evils sell, this one commands a lot smaller of a price tag. But for what we paid, this is still a solid grab, especially in a bundle. The bundled price on this game ended up being $3, and I'm going to price it at $18. March Madness 08, such a solid game. I sold my copy a long time ago, but always wish that I hadn't. I still have a season going on this game and I need to finish it. Graphics and gameplay are undeniably top shelf on this entry. And while there are rumors of college sports games making a comeback, I'll believe it when I see it. I'm glad to have this one back. Left 4 Dead is one of those fan favorites that I missed out on, having joined Gen 7 so late. There's a lot here I want to spend time on, and a lot of questions I need answered. One of which is, are you a Left 4 Dead head? What are your experiences with this series? Tell me about it in the comment section below because you know that I love getting a conversation going with you. I paid $3 each for these two Xbox 360 games, and they both weigh in at around $10 to $13 each. Then we have copies of Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort old standbys. He was at 50 bucks on the Wii console he had, which is too high, but where there's a Wii, there's usually a copy of Wii Sports. These never stopped selling well. Wii Sports was a dollar and Resort was free with purchase. No way we can lose on that deal. I haven't bought 3DS games in a while. We got loose carts of Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, which as first party goodness should definitely be worth what we paid, and Angry Birds, which I could have done without, but it got bundled in, so I'm not complaining. We got this stack of games for $10, putting our cost on these at $2.50 each. Donkey Kong Country goes for around 13 loose, and Angry Birds goes for about eight. Robocop on NES was a superb home version of the arcade classic, both the aforementioned being games I spent lots of time on. Robocop just rules. Much like Turtles Arcade, the NES version of the game was quality enough for it to be adored in its own right and very appreciated. Still fun today. Then we got Sesame Street ABC and 123s, the combo cart. This is one I don't have in my NES collection. I have the two games separately on their own carts. 
I wondered at a glance how rare the combo cart was because I can't remember ever seeing this anywhere. We got $2.50 in each of these NES carts and they both sell for upwards of $12. Then we got Knockout Kings 2000 on N64. Not rare and not valuable, but I don't have it on N64. Only on PS1. And it got auto-bundled, so again, I'm not complaining. These games are so much fun. You know, at that time in my life, boxing and wrestling game career modes took up as much of my game time as RPGs. This game, in this condition, sells for about $8 to $10. A lot of times when we find controllers, the thumbsticks are boogered up, some of the buttons stick. No, not this one. There's not even any wear on it. It just looks fantastic. This PS3 controller is in the digital camo. We ended up paying eight bucks for it, and I will accept no less than 35. Man, just some really cool finds today. Some really cool stuff to look at right here on the show. We got a lot of really cool items for really great prices today. And I love taking a look at the games with you right here on the show, but you know I always got to know. What are your experiences with these games? What do you think about the things that we picked up? What was your favorite thing that we got today? I want to hear something from you in the comment section of this video because you know that I love getting a conversation going with you right here on the MC Merch Show, something that we do a lot of. The hunt didn't end here either. There were other things, not all of it gaming related. There's always cool toys, sometimes 80s stuff, sports memorabilia. You know, you, it's hard not to get just tunnel vision on the gaming stuff, but there's really money all over the place. Just an absolute great day. And again, I enjoyed sharing these things with you that we found. And there's more action coming right behind this. The hunt doesn't stop. And if it does, won't well, we just go on another one, right? Lots of more action coming your way right here on the show each and every week, Fridays at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So don't touch that dial. More action coming your way. Hope you liked what you saw today. Hope you're gonna drop a like on this video. Most importantly, if you have not already done so, hope you're gonna subscribe to the MC Merch Show and be a part of our nation because we're rising up all the fantastic things we do right here on the show. You need to be a part of it. Make sure that you smack that notification bell. So you're always first to know when new content goes live. Content just like this hunt video right here. You know, there's more stuff to come, right? Each and every time. MC Mer signing off for this fantabulous episode. Now we'll see each and every one of you again next time. Bye.